My name is Michelle Ankam-Galan. I'm a poetry slimmer based in Berlin from the Islam Collective, and I will be your guide throughout this course on conquering hate speech in Europe. For this first week, we will be looking at what hate speech is, what are the key elements that define hate speech, and what forms it takes. Many people feel, and maybe you do too, that hate speech is everywhere today. Hate speech is on the media, in the streets and walls, online and in political discourses, included often in sta statements made by politicians and public officials. Many of us have already been also the direct target of hate speech. While we shared articles or videos on Facebook or Instagram, people are commenting on them right away. For example, either me or my friends are the target of hate speech on the internet. One of my best friends uses YouTube to upload hip-hop music videos he produces and he got heavily attacked with comments such as start packing and go home or you do not belong to this country. Myself, as a Muslim, queer and immigrant woman, I know very well that I am an easy target of hate speech based on one or the other aspects of my identity. What's really difficult is that I have friends or people that I know who would dare to do some comments online about me, but they would not dare to say it in front of me. Through these experiences, I started to get interested in the topic. What is hate speech and how can we define it? There are many definitions of hate speech out there. Hate speech is a complex concept and there is no internationally accepted definition or understanding of it. For example, every member state of the European Union has its own definition of hate speech. On the European level, one of the most common definitions is the definition of the Council of Europe. It defines hate speech as covering all forms of expression which spread, incite, promote or justify racial hatred xenophobia, anti-Semitism, or other forms of hatred based on intolerance, including intolerance expressed by aggressive nationalism and ethnocentrism, discrimination and hostility against minorities, migrants, and people of immigrant origin. But there are many other forms of discrimination and prejudices as well, such as anti-Gypsism, Islamophobia, Christianophobia, sexism, and discrimination on grounds of sexual orientation and gender identity. The list is unfortunately endless. Even journalists and civil society workers are increasingly the target of hate speech. In the next video, we are going to explore the causes of these prejudices and what consequences they have.